Welcome back to Varnum's Auto, guys. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and tell y'all. We fit a focus. We'll get right on that. 2018 BMW. X5 alternator replacement <coughs> not gonna say nothing but I will do the very best I can to show y'all how to put this back together by putting this back together it's gonna show y'all how to take it apart and replace the alternator this is the engine oil cooler. That's the cooling part of the engine cooler. That's the intake. It's got to come off so you can get a bolt that's right in here. And you got one there, one there. It's, it's crazy. That's the reason why I ain't going to say much. I'm just going to put it back together so y'all can see what I got going on. Well, it's going to show it by taking it off, but I didn't want y'all to hear my, my swear because it was some nasty words coming out of my mouth. <clears throat> and it is, and I mean, straight up is a pain in the you know what to get off. He's going to go ahead and set the alternator in there, like so, so we can go ahead and get the power cord, the hot line back to it. <clears throat> I promise you guys. This is some real tree work that I do. I get paid for doing this stuff. This is my job. This is my work. All right. I underbitted myself with this here vehicle. It's okay. I learned my. I learned from mistakes. Oh, under bidding. That's on there tight. Get it lined up just right so we can have it drop right on into place.
I'm gonna get my rubber mallet. I'm gonna beat on it. There's a rubber mallet. I'm gonna beat on it. Don't let anybody tell you that's going to mess the alternator up because it will not harm it at all because it is rubber. Well, see, that's part of the motherfucking damn bullshit that I'm talking about. You can't fucking get nothing done right. That fucking daggone piece of shit, BMW.
Ah, dang it, man. What a fucking waste of fucking daggone time on a... Mm, motherfucking God. That's a fucking second tool this damn fucking car's taken from me. I ain't worried about receiving the motherfucker back. Just let that motherfucker send it, send it the motherfucking back, the, sh the, sh the fucking, wherever the fuck she says she was from, Charlotte. Motherfucker. Where this boat is, I'm fucking cussing out. Literally got a fucking damn wire sitting right there in the fucking damn way. I'm telling you, I would never work on a fucking daggone foreign ass car like this. why it sound like it won't doing right is because of the angle that my wobble joint's in. Now, we got the privilege of putting that bag on the oil cooler back together. This is a fuck bag on piece of joke shit right here. These two bolts here. It goes to this piece of junk right here. And it fits right down up in there. And it bolts up. But you got to put a bolt in right here before you're able to do that. I'm telling y'all. I'm showing y'all this, this, this is one of the most shitty ass design of a foreign car right here. Sold in a USA. Motherfucker ought to be smacked in their motherfucking head that they're gonna buy a fucking vehicle like this. Or even make one like that. Where my daggone 13 millimeter go? I, I done. I got so mad I lost the 13 millimeter. Look at that, y'all.
I received it. I found it. Yeah. This boat here is an inner torch. And it is a E12. The inner torch right there are a little messed up, so I'm going to try to see if I can replace it with this. That's a 13 millimeter head. It's a M. M8 This one goes here on the top. And this one here goes on the back side. That's why you had to loosen the daggone, or take off the net and bolts on the intake to be able to receive that. And yes, sir. It was a pain in the you know what, son. I'm telling you. That's the reason why I say I will never, no more, once in my lifetime, I'll work on a piece of trash like this, but I won't never work on another one. You're garbage. Yep, I was about to knock y'all over. I was about to reach over y'all before I can get it out my mouth. Y'all, y'all were falling. I'm always knocking y'all guys over for some reason. All right, where my impact about to zap send that shit home. I had to wait for the fucking damn car to cool down. And it was extremely motherfucking hot. I was saying it was overheated. That was just how hot that piece of shit was. my damn 13 millimeter again. What the hell really going on, y'all? Sitting right there in front of me. Happy damn. That's what happened to me when I get mad. Start getting mad, getting upset, forget things where I put it at. Yes, the, the oil cooler that butts up to the actual motor right here up against the <clears throat> where the valve cover is. Yes, they are gaskets there. Gaskets look good. No debris into it. Look nice and clean. That's actually where the engine coolant flows through to cool down the oil. That's where the oil cartilage filter is, right here where this black cap is.
Get her tight, get her right, son. Pop that 13 off. Find out where your 10 millimeter went to. Which I really had no clue. Huh. Oh, I found it. Get your 10 millimeter. I'll take out these two bolts here for this stupid dude right there. Just for the hell of it, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna pop that badass motherfucker up in there. So we know we got absolutely all the room impossible to do it. So now we're just going to take it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see if I can angle it down just a little bit. Y'all see it bouncing up and down? That's where that thing goes in now. That's the outlet of the engine cooling the coolant of this where it cools the oil down so it's, it's really a pain in the ass y'all to work on this if you do not have the experience just by watching my video it's going to give y'all a headache it's going to literally stress y'all out. Because all I'm doing is showing a reverse. Of putting everything together. Because I really didn't want y'all to hear me swearing and, and cursing and stuff like that. Because I know some people can get down and dirty with saying words, man. And I, I do when I get pissed off. That's, and that's that. I got a hot heat to him. So we're going to tighten this son with gun down. I'm, I'm fed up working on this. I got it. <clears throat> we're going to just slap her all back together. Send her home. Take this lady back her car. She stays in Charlotte, North Carolina. And thanks to good old AutoZone, where I drop my business cards off, they sure do give me some help. Especially on the weekends, if I ain't got nothing going on, they will call me and they will ask me if I need any work. Now ask them what it is and what's going on with it. They'll tell me, and I have the chance. I have the the option to decline or to take. And I hurt. I'm hurting for some money because I was out two days this past week, this last weekend, this past week on work because I got overheated. I overheated. Severely, I thought I was going to die. I blacked out, seen spots, and my whole body started tingling. I told it when I did the lower ball joint on the right side of that Ford Mustang. That was the only reason why I did the one side, because I was still feeling effect. But other than that, guys, we got that water outlet put back together and just for shit and giggles before I forget because of me being so ticked off if I can find it alternator back in so I know I will be completely done she snapped it's locked in now 
here's the engine coolant to the oil cooler match them three bolts up there and don't worry all three of these bolts they're the same E12 they are all three the same length and it it's got a dial pin right there so it lines up it's got one down here and uh, just really ain't into trying to show y'all that right now Got two of them started. We're going to reach down here at the bottom. If I don't drop everything. We're going to try to fish that in. I only got one shot at this. Because if I drop it, it's gone. Straight up. Sorry y'all if y'all get if y'all getting a little shaky that's because I'm bumping into the the phone and the tripod. Matter of fact, we're gonna take this one off. Just so we can see from the top through the bottom and if we're getting it lined up right all right now we got it and this is all aluminum except for the bolts but the bolts are crappy made please y'all be very very careful because it's aluminum crap these crappy old bolts they will strip in a daggone freaking heartbeat they will I've had it with with a six point six point oh LS that they literally has stripped while I was backing them off that's all I did was back them off Five threes the same way. All that all that mess is crap. Get my snap on ratchet. Way it's home, boy. No, oh, my motherfucking damn air bud, you piece of fucking damn foreign ass shit. Oh, I'm mad now, motherfucker. You done stole my motherfucking air bud, you piece of shit. Get your ass on now, bitch. And be very careful tighten it.
when another motherfucking tool of mine, fucking son of a bitch, give my damn shit and stop fucking playing, bitch. Damn. All right, guys. Almost done. So now we got to take the seven, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts and put it back into the damn stupid intake, which is fucking plastic. Plastic junk. Sorry, y'all, about the movement of the, the camera. Just trying to get y'all a view of what I'm doing so y'all can see how to put it back on. And if you reverse that, you can take it off. So if you're smart enough, if you watch this, you can take it off and put it back on just like, just, I mean, just like that. is a 3-8 bolt and nuts. That's a little tricky. Cause you got your wire harness sitting up there with your fuel rail. Stupid old fuel injectors. Screw them on by hand with your socket and your stick stitching. Now we can come back up and get these first two bolts. Once I get this last one here tightened up by hand, I'm going to show y'all a little bit where these bolts go to. All right, here we go, here we go. One bolt, two bolt, a nut, a nut. So on and so forth, on down the line. Jump y'all back down in the viewing so y'all can see what is going on. What is going on? My head literally hurts from messing with this car today.
And I'm gonna let y'all sit there and watch this boring BS, me screwing these nuts and bolts in. I'll be right back. All right. Doing the final touch up on tightening the intake bolts. All right. Oh, it is hot. Thank you for allowing me to get this thing done. My goodness. Last and but not least, guys. We're going, I don't know if I can get y'all in the viewing. Right here. Yeah, let, me, let me do something better. I'm going to pop y'all right here and I'm going to look on the camera. And see what kind of view y'all got. Yeah, y'all can see. I'm gonna pop this stupid hose here back on. Which that's actually for the oh Lord. The throttle. This here old bad boy's got twin power turbos. So she's got a little bit of bumpity bump bump into it. If I could keep the stupid flathead screwdriver on the clamp. Alright. Don't want to over tighten that because that is plastic. All right, let's see. We're going to pop this here sensor back into place for the temp. She's locked in. We're going to take our AC lines, we're going to pop them back into place. All right. Got all that good and secured. Secured. And see how. Let's see how. We're going to take this one. I don't even know if y'all 